to B again, and I want to get the movement out of this case. And I'm taking a good look at it, and uh, it's a set lever, and it's wound up, but it's got a broken staff, I already know. But I'm going to show you the breakdown all the way to the broken staff. So when you talk about a broken staff, because I'm used to wristwatches, what's the staff on a pocket watch? Same thing, only bigger. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's integral to the balance assembly. So uh, we'll, we'll flip it over, and uh, this watch is engraved, but uh, I'm going to remove the cover. And these, these cases for the Hamilton 992Bs, they just come off nicely. It's like... Yeah, I notice you're not having to use any tools or anything. It's just no, finger tight. It's just, it's just nice, wow. nice that quality. Is beautifully finished inside yeah, on them. It'll be even nicer. I can see fingerprints and dirt. Yeah. Okay. So now we're going to take this apart very carefully because this is an expensive watch. Yeah. And I'm going to treat it the same as if it was my customer's watch or my watch or your watch. So these are the case screws. I'm going to take them out. The so when so when was this watch roughly made? Uh, I haven't run the numbers on this one on uh, pocketwatchdatabase.com because you can go to pocketwatchdatabase.com and get all this data, and you can actually print a sheet for your watch, and they store every serial number, and it will tell you the story of your watch. The mm -hmm. level of finishing on this inside is very high. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, and it seems to me that this watch has a set set lever screw right here. The crown should come out. I'm gonna take the crown out. <clears throat> so you've got a repair to do to the watch itself, and you want to replace the crystal entirely, or? Yeah, I'm having trouble getting the uh, stem out. Can you pause? Mm, yeah. yeah. Uh, 992B parts movement that I bought on eBay. And I'm going to use it to compare and figure out why that that um, um, isn't coming out. Now, see this hour hand? It's crap. It's going to go in the trash. Yeah. And here's our uh, our, our seconds hand. It's pretty rusty. And the dial itself? Are they porcelain? Yeah, but this dial's crap, so I'm yeah. not even putting a dial protector on it. Shot to Nothing this. we can. So what you've got here is you've got the ability to see how something's made, and when you have a problem with another one, you can yeah. sort of use this one as a. Yeah, so I'm going to take the. Um, remember previously I said there's three dial feet screws. Mm. Well, here they are. They're big. And by the way, that one watch is done in the cleaner, so we'll get him later. Now I'm not worried about him in the last rinse. Uh, but you don't want to leave a brass, like a, a an antique pocket watch movement that's plated. Because it'll start taking the... Yeah, the, the cleaner. Uh, not the rinse, but the cleaner uh, will will take off some of the... Uh, mm. And I noticed that this old dial has a... I don't know why I'm straightening out a dial foot on it. <laughs> it's habit. It's habit. Okay. Well, this watch is really dirty, too. Okay. And uh, But anyways, I'm taking a look at it. And... Um, uh, And the uh, stem is just in there. Okay, so let's uh, let's go back to um, our watch. We're gonna back up and edit. All right. So. Um, so now that you've had a look at the other one, have you got a better idea of what's happening? Well, the the crown should have the stem should have snapped out with the crown, and um, it's not. So that means it's really dirty in there, which worries me. Is if you pull too much, you might damage something? I just wanted to get the snap out because I got to get the movement out. Mm. So now I'm going to take off the... Uh, um, Is that the front? You'd call that the front bezel? Yeah. yeah. If you can stay with me, I'll, I'll yep. work on it. Yeah, I can that. see it. 
Shit comes off nice though. Does, isn't it? Yeah. And here we have our our watch. And you see how dirty this uh, crystal is? Uh, it's not, not I didn't mean dirty. I mean, it's kind cloudy. of a bit opaque. I'm going to guess. I've not seen this before, but like we say, we've seen it on the pierce in this. I think the acrylic degrades under UV and goes slightly opaque. Okay. But I could be wrong. If we polish it both sides, maybe I'm wrong. So this movement came out. The dial's in lovely yeah. condition. Yeah. That's it. And it came out because it's a set lever, and that was my um, um, here's our set lever right here. So it just came out normal. So there was no pulling that crown out. That came out normal. Yeah. Okay. So although you can have lots of pocket watches with the same fundamental movement, and even from the same company, you can have slightly different ways that they've been constructed or... Yeah, so on this 992B case, mm. um, uh, the uh, uh, crown does not snap in and out. Uh, to to it, it stays in winding position at all times. Gotcha. So we'll just leave it alone. We'll put that through the cleaner later. Uh, we're not going to talk about that. But we have a piece of metal here. Let's see what that is. And uh, uh. Um, don't know. It's oh, it's just a piece of the old dial. Anyway, no worries. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. So now we're going to gently take these hands off. Um, uh, I don't use hand removers. I just use my levers. So. Do you think this is the original dial that, that, and it hasn't been refurbished? I don't well? have any reason to not. It's in such good condition. Yeah, it came off pretty good. So here we have our. Now we do have a cracked dial, and I do have new dials. So I'm going to put a new dial on this baby. So this one, this dial's cracked. Mm -hmm. I'll Where show you the crack. Oh, if I bring it in. Oh yes, yeah. actually you can here. see. Here. Yeah, we could clean this dial, and they have cleaners that will hide the yeah, but the it's still shadow there. of the dirt. But it's still there. But it's still cracked. Yeah. And I think I'm right in saying that these dials were ceramic, or they were porcelain. Porcelain. Yeah, which There's obviously a, made them very fragile. And there is a huge art involved in right. And doing that. So I think now, there's still a few Japanese watches now, like the Grand Seikos, where they do some porcelain. Uh, Roland Murphy yes. in Lancaster does porcelain dials. Huh. He's really good. That's the granddaddy of watchmaking. Yeah. So I'm loosening my uh, dial foot. There's three of them. Here's another one. And remember, we got to use the right screwdriver because we don't want to mar these screws up, mm. even though I have screws. No, because it's it's all about as much parts staying original as possible. Yeah, right? and that, that came off nice and clean. Yeah. Here's our set lever screw that came out because I loosened it. And um, I'll take the hour wheel off, which is really dirty. So uh, for right now, though, we're going to put the uh, um, case back together. So I'm going to put the uh, um, front cover back on. And um, put him on there. And I'm going to set him aside because we're not worried about that right now. And then I'll put the other cover on the back. And you see how nicely it goes on? Yes, it's not isn't struggling. It? Yeah. Good stuff. It's very precisely made. Yeah. Good stuff. All right. Okay. Okay. Do you remember who said good stuff? No. Al Pacino did when. Did he? When. Uh, Which film? And and um, uh, Donnie Brasco when they gave him the uh, the tiger. Oh, I think I've only seen Donnie. And he Brasco thought he was going to get killed, and he says, "Good stuff." Yeah. All right. So let's open up our movement holder. And put this uh, movement uh, on there. And it should the 16 size should fit on my movement holder. If it doesn't, I'll grab another movement holder real quick. And uh, this one here just fits nicely right there. That's all we need there. Yeah. So see, I can use this movement holder. By the way, uh, um, our lever fell out, so we'll set that aside with the set lever screw. We actually want to take a look and see how that lever, how that lever was positioned. So let's take a look at it and see uh, where he was. So this is the actual lever, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, we might look for a new one. Why? So, uh, because this one sometimes they get really worn, and there's not enough lever there for your fingernail to grab when you, because this is called a lever set, and we want it to. Um, um, uh, pivot out so it goes like this and the set lever screw screws into it right there 
So if the DAW were on, mm. you would grab this little lever with your fingernail and pivot it out, and it works against this lever down there, and then it'll put it in setting position. Gotcha. And then uh, it would disengage the sliding pinion from the uh, winding pinion, and then we can set the time. Uh, some of the basic principles on any watch. So we'll set that aside. We know we have our screw, and for now, uh, we're going to leave everything alone. What's interesting about the 992B is it's got a double capsule plate. So here you've got your capsule for your uh, balance mm -hmm. and, I believe, your uh, um, escape wheel or, or, or the uh, pallet. And it's the pallet. So here we have a double plate with a capsule for the pallet and a capsule for the balance, which is really elegant. Very, very well done on Hamilton's part. And a lot of people love 992Bs, but uh, that is a great reason to love a 992B. Yeah. So let's clamp this in and take them apart. Of course, the first thing we're going to take apart is the balance. So um, let's get to it. Now remember, we don't want to scratch these screws, so I'm using a big gray one, which is like a 1.2 or 1.4. But either way, this is the right screwdriver for this screw. And these Hamilton 992Bs are big and hefty and well finished. We'll set that aside. And now um, we're going to take it apart. Take this here. And the, the uh, steady pins are, are a little bit tight, so I can feel it. It's got a good grip in there. So I'm going to gently lift that bridge, the balance bridge, up without letting it pop you know and now take that it's dangling nicely i flip him over gently and now look at the hairspring it's centered nice you see how it's yeah i'm just gonna come in close see Easy. how it's concentrically coiled yeah it's it looks nice. pretty even yeah but we have a broken pivot uh oh, okay right here so now the... how are we going to show you that can you zoom in on that bell i'm not hurting the hairspring i am very zoomed in can you see that broken pivot i think so yeah there's nothing there. Normally, you'd see a, a, con a conical needle. Gotcha. There's nothing there. It's broke. So we're going to fix that. We're going to change the bound. We're going to restaff it. Okay. And I have staffs, and we're going to do that in another video. All right. So for right now, we're going to set it aside and get the watch apart. Because I have not serviced this movement, so we might as well service it. Now, um, how are we going to let the watch down? So do you, know, do you have a little ratchet that you can... We could have done it in the case. But right now, I'm going to take the screws out of the pallet bridge. And by the way, if you take a look there, if you zoom in, mm -hmm. the pallet bridge has its own elegant capsule. Right there. Sometimes the screws have a little previous action. They've seen action. So that screwdriver wasn't gripping right so I used a little a smaller one to, to get to get it out of there without trouble okay and then I'm gonna um, um, use a uh, little screwdriver there to block the uh, the uh, uh, escape wheel while I lift the pallet bridge up and I want to lift them up without Breaking the uh, pivot on the bridge on the pallet fork. I got the bridge out. I got the fork out, and now I let the watch on. Oh, yeah. Now I can see. I'm looking. I'm gonna. It's like a steam train. Yeah, but I'm I'm watching all the alignment of the wheels. Yeah, and you're listening as well. And I'm looking for yeah how it unwinds and how long it takes. But when you unwind it by holding the crown you don't and holding that. the click, you don't get all that observation. How does the alignment look? Good. Doesn't seem wobbly to me. Oh, zoom in on it. Yeah, looks pretty good. Yeah, looks very stable. Yeah. So, just we'll let it unwind. Sounds good. You know. Given that these were such, would you would you say that this stop this watch, despite the fact that it's gold gold and everything and so well finished, would have been a workhorse watch? It would have been. Taken by a train driver or a train conductor. You mean a fireman or engineer? Yeah. Yeah. But this is, uh, 
from an American perspective, this is the best of the best. I mean, this is the watch that 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 conquered America, right? Because you needed the I accuracy. Think, I, I, I think that this is the watch that got us to Wyoming and yeah, that's what to, I mean. This is your to St. Louis head this west. Is a, this is a freaking railroad watch, twenty-one jewel. So I think I think what some people aren't aware of is that running a timetable across a country with six time zones means in an era with no quartz you need a timepiece that's ridiculously accurate over many many days because some of these train drivers and engineers could be gone for a week before that they can resynchronize and check where they are so there was an enormous pressure during that kind of boom mid to late 1800s now look this 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 ratchet wheel was pretty tight got them off without drama it's the, how do they get that finish on the ratchet wheel that it's got that kind of concentric? You do that on a lathe. God, it's beautiful. Yeah, I've not it's, seen that before. Spot. We can do it one day on the lathe. It's spectacular. It's actually quite simple and easy to do. But, but it if you'll notice, amazing. the machine, the the the, the, the uh, circular buffing is in the opposite direction on this one and mm. in the opposite direction on yes. that one. So you get that gorgeous as you swirl it with the light. You get this. Very, very appealing. Yeah, that's all done in a lathe. You can set up any lathe to do that. That's lovely. Yeah. There's our ratchet wheel. It's such a, for the joy of watchmaking thing, you know? It doesn't have any dip bearing on its accuracy, but it yeah. just... Now, this is going to be a lefty. And this is the only lefty? Yes. And it is a lefty. Nice big lefty. Yeah. Yeah, you can't miss no, that. I'm going to put it with the uh, ratchet. Yeah. Now, I notice you're not having to do too much pre-cleaning. Yeah, well, guess what? I know that this is this thing, this thing, watch is dirty, and it's going to get my cleaner dirty. I'm going to pre-clean this, but um, it's pretty dirty. So I was going to just, we are going to, see all that dirt coming off? I mean, these are hunks of, you know, grease. Whole lumps of coal. Yeah, this is a lot of <laughs> grease right here. I'll, I'll pre-clean it for you. Yeah. 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 But this watch is going to get the cleaner dirty. And I'll you'll, you'll you'll see after we do this one in another video how much it changed the color of my fluid. But uh, I am going to pre-clean the uh um the grease, the dirt. It's like there's a lot here like you want to get that out. There's a core here for the crown wheel. We're going to get that core out not coming out so it'll come off in, a, in another way yeah now um mm. okay yeah lots of dirt right there we'll get it off and then we're going to get this bridge off now uh, the second there's another there's an independent uh, bridge here for the uh, escape wheel and mm -hmm. the seconds or the fourth wheel and seconds so there's a pivot that runs through the other side right but it's tucked under here so i'm taking this bridge off right because have i tried to take these two off i might be able to get i not might not be able to get the seconds wheel off because it's tucked under the grate gotcha so and you need to sort of do a few <clears throat> bits in order to get those change, few bits off change my order a little bit so i'm going to mm. take the barrel bridge off first right yeah And it says adjusted to six positions. I mean, I know dial up, dial down, and sideways. What's the other three positions? Um, under I mean, fire from bandits. I mean, I know you know if you're on a train. I um, know that there are a lot of positions out there, but at the end of the day, there's one position that's really good. So up, down, <laughs> sideways. Dial side, dial up is the position. So now we have. Um, well, I would assume with a pocket watch, it would actually be vertical most of the time. Here's our bridge, pretty dirty. And this would come up from the bottom, I think. So again, you're doing a pre-clean here. Yeah, it's pretty dirty. Some this is cutting. really massively dirty in there. Yeah. yeah. I look forward to changing the staff on this and uh, putting, getting this thing really going. And we'll put a new crystal on it too. But this watch is going to just destroy our cleaning fluid. So this is a watch you would do when you've done six or seven cleans on some yeah other we're going to finalize the we're going to we're going to we're going to exhaust our fluid on this watch well, uh, the word the british term would be send it off in style 
well, the thing is, now let's look at our. Uh, um, now, I'm, just so I can see better, I'm going to snip the end of my stick here. I'm going to, you know, just renew my stick. Yeah. Just so. I, are you with me? Yeah. Just so I yep. can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to clean the jewels. Too. I am pre-cleaning, by the way. I want to see if any of the jewels are cracked. Yeah. And a cracked jewel, the watch will not run white. It's not going to happen. Is that bit well? Is that because it's not retain? It won't retain the oil in the correct it's just shape. Just like your car, the cracked jewel. It's like your. Let's just say you had a bad, like your, bad yeah. bearing on your left front tire wheel. Yeah. Or you, or you had a. You and had your bearings out, and you hear that thumping as the bearing starts to screech. You know, and then they want seven hundred bucks to change the bearing. Well. It's the same thing as the car. You, that 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 jewel is a bearing. Yeah. So I clean that off. This is filthy, but that's as good as it's going to get. And we'll we'll sort those parts out when we get there. I'm going to put this with the crown with those parts up there. I can gently take the barrel out like that. Get them out of the way. Um, now you're going to open that one up. Well, remember I said that. Uh, that uh, the seconds wheel was tucked under yeah well here's our our uh uh third wheel mm -hmm. who came out relatively okay yeah and then here's our center because we got to remove the cannon pinion uh, to do that so now we're going to hold the watch uh, we need our uh, cannon pinion remover which is handy and uh, so we take the watch turn it upside down and can you see i'm just gonna look in so that locks onto that bit there it's got four prongs i'm just gonna zoom out actually so you can see using and, the tool and it took the cannon pinion off right there there's no mistaking who the cannon pinion is and then we put it back in the movement holder that's it so now we're gonna gently pick up the center wheel take a look at it pivot looks good looks good put it with that these are big wheels by the way compared to what we've been uh, working with. Yeah. Here's our, our bridge for the escape and the pa uh, 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 fourth and second. So our fourth wheel is our seconds, and I'll show you why. Yeah. And I'm also going to take a look at my screws, and they're all the same. So all the case screws are the same. Which is good news. Which is good news, yeah. Because yeah. remember, if you got a shorter one, that means that you needed it short. So that it won't wouldn't protrude onto the dial damage side something below or stop or the above. watch. Yeah, yeah. Now look at how neat this 992B is. Is how you've got these little depressions right here. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Is that for just getting in and easing Get, it yeah. off? Yeah, oh, wow. getting your little device in there. So, so what they've done there is they've actually thought about servicing. It, it's it's made to be serviced because now they're protecting. They're helping me. They're saying, hey, push here, push here, so that you don't damage the beautiful finish on this watch. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It's very thoughtful. Thoughtful is a new word that is very watchmaking um, uh, 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 pertinent. Thoughtful. Thinking about... It's not just thinking about the initial sale. It's saying if this watch becomes a generational timepiece and it's serviced, yeah. you know, once a decade, how easy is it to get it open? Yeah, it's like serviced. the guy, like on the car, the passenger visor for your woman. She's got a... She flips the visor up and the light goes on. You go, gee, that was thoughtful. That was thoughtful. You know? You know, they thought of that. A lot of stuff on the car. And I had a car with a curry hook. And here's the, here's the uh, fourth and seconds. And there's your elongated pivot on the fourth and seconds. And I'm looking at it under my loop and it's not bent and I'm happy. We're good. And here's our escape wheel. And it looks good. A big old hair in there. Which is... Um, Vintage. Yeah, you know, who knows? You know, that's funny. As a geneticist, we yeah. could potentially bring back someone from the past now. Well, we could probably free somebody from prison with that hair. Yeah, <laughs> here we go. All right. And, uh, or put somebody in prison with that hair. Yeah. All right. So now we're just going to take and dab, pre-clean. We don't want to bend our, uh, here's our banking pins right here. They look good. Look at how, how symmetrically positioned they are. Mm. in a factory type way they are where they're supposed to be mm. yeah when we get this thing restaffed and put it back together this watch is going to fly yeah it's going to be like a secretariat yeah
What do you think you'll be able to get accuracy wise? Actually out of see this? biscuit as more more like huh? What do you think you'll be able to get accuracy wise out of this? Uh, is it set up properly? I, I don't know yet, but the, the those things will reveal themselves in the graph. Like we don't know. Mm. Uh uh, now, since we have a broken staff, we can't put the balance back on to put it through the cleaner. So guess what we're going to do? So could you put you, could you put it on a different movement to protect it that way? And I do have, and hey, that's interesting, on an ETA, um, we do have sacrificial plates where I can put the balance on a sacrificial plate yeah. to uh, put it through the cleaner. But what I'm going to do right now is tighten down my dial screws mm -hmm. because I don't want them mm -hmm. to vibrate out later. Fly don't want to lose them. Don't want to be looking. Don't want to mar them. Yeah. And I like your vantage point there so that I can keep my hands out of the way and show you what I'm doing. So they're tight, ready to go. Plate is good. And now we're going to take apart the uh, uh, dial side. So since we don't have anything protruding here, uh, I can lay him down flat without the movement holder. Okay. So now we have this jumper retaining plate. What his factory name in Lancaster, Pennsylvania is, I don't know. He has a name, but he is a jumper retaining plate. Yeah. I'm going to put those two screws there. They're in good shape. I lift him up. And this is a relatively simple watch. And we have a minute wheel, two intermediate setting wheels, and a yoke. And I want to take off the yoke spring first. So I am going to use a narrow tweezer to reach in there and grab him. And if you'll notice, the length of the spring maintains tension on the yoke. And oh, guess what happened? It went that way. It's Good. just over Well, there. it didn't go far. No, I can see it. Okay. All right. So we'll grab him. And uh, obviously I wasn't able to test him very much. There's our intermediate wheel. There's our other intermediate wheel. There's our minute wheel. And we've basically broken down this watch. There we go. So there's a, yeah, there's not a lot else to come off here. No. Well, we do have our uh, our sliding pinion. And the, uh, the core, the, the stem, it's going to come up this way. There's a little thing there I haven't seen. It's like a... No, oh, it's a spring. Hmm. Oh, look at that. It's a C spring. So this C spring holds the stem in. Gotcha. Figured him out. Mm -hmm. This is my first 992B. There's our stem core. Uh -huh. There's our winding pinion. There's a sliding pinion. In one sense, all watches are the same. That's that main plate. Okay, that's and it. We're going to organize that later, and I'll show you a video, and let's get this in restaffed. That'll be the next video. Okay, so that's it. restaff on a 992B. All right, so uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, we've got links in the description as well to the podcast and the website, um, and we've got various other videos on the channel showing various other parts for this.